Harry Styles sparked rumors of a One Direction reunion on Monday when he posted, then swiftly deleted, a photo of himself wearing a vintage 1D t-shirt on Instagram. The black t-shirt was from the boy band's 2012 Up All Night tour and featured images of his former bandmates Niall Horan, Louis Tomlinson, Liam Payne, and Zayn Malik. He addressed the mysterious selfie on Tuesday during his sold-out concert at Mount Smart Stadium in Auckland, the last date of his Love on Tour world tour. The singer, 29, said he'd posted the picture by accident after taking it for himself. Maybe, like some people, you want to keep something to yourself. And maybe one day you will accidentally post it to your Instagram story. He laughed as the New Zealand crowd went wild. It is unclear whether Harry posted the photo completely by accident or whether he had meant to send it only to his Instagram close friend. However, he should have known deleting it wasn't going to stop speculation of a 1D reunion, as fans were quick to screenshot and circulate the picture. The disappearing photo led to the hashtags hashtag the shirt and hashtag he deleted it trending across various social media platforms. The as it was hitmaker alluded to One Direction last month as he accepted the honor for British Artist of the Year at the 2023 Brit Awards in London. I want to thank my mum for signing me up for X Factor without telling me, so I literally wouldn't be here without you, he said. I want to thank Niall, Louis, Liam and Zane because I wouldn't be here without you either. Thank you so much. At the Auckland concert, Harry also told the crowd he had filled in the country since, which he was legally obliged to do as a visitor to New Zealand on Census Day, and encouraged the 40,000-strong crowd to do so too. Immediately after his first song, he said on stage, did everyone do the census thing, before adding, I did it. He continued, as long as we're all accounted for, we can continue. Otherwise, we have to stop the show and fill out the paperwork. I've done it, I think. The official New Zealand census Twitter account had earlier confirmed the British pop star would have to fill out the official document, just like everyone else in the country on March 7th.